Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and today's topic is relationships. Now, don't you think it's a bit upsetting when you watch all these movies and then you fantasize meeting the one, right? The one that is destined for you, but it's it keeps not coming, not coming, not coming. Like the time passes, you're already in your 20s but it's still you're not seeing and meeting that person or you have met people or a person that you thought is the one but not the one and it is a bit disappointing feeling and I have a comment uh, to make on that more on that later but right now we are going to react to new FKA Twix album, uh, Capri songs. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Um, personally, I have never been into FKA Twix that much when it comes to her music. I've heard Magdalene was like groundbreaking album as well. But when I was listening to it, I uh, it was not my like type of music I would enjoy, I guess. Um, there were definitely some performances uh, as features that she did I liked before um, but um, I guess hopefully I'm just hoping that this is gonna be the first project where I will enjoy it too first reaction let's go hey. ride the dragon I track one <laughs> okay I like this I like the sound I like the song, actually, really nice, pleasing sound. I uh, can't wait to see what's uh, coming next. It's relationships, right? And to continue that introduction I gave you, basically, FKA Twix, right? <laughs> the, some lyrics I, that stood out to me was waiting a minute for your love. If you really wanna kiss me, kiss me. I'm a boss in my life. Do I really have to boss in the sheets? <laughs> when you gonna take me out to play? So basically, this kind of lyrics are sort of putting expectations on other person, right? On your potential partner. What we have to do more is to conform to our requests. We have to be really good people. And we have to, first of all, first and foremost, be a suitable partner. And we need to be capable of giving a lot before we are asking to receive. And I think media like this uh, not that I'm saying, oh, FK, FK Twix is a bad person or something like that. I'm just saying that uh, we are so used to media that tells us, oh, you put yourself first all the time. You deserve the best, but others are whatever, like bad people or like, <laughs> let's say, like you find the one that is ready to do everything for you, right? Like we, 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 we kind of get that into our timelines more and more. And same happening in like other media, like uh, social media, movies. And we tend to forget that you actually have to deserve what you uh, get, right? Uh, and um, if you are receiving, then give as well, right? Or first give to, to receive the back. Like, for example, FK Twigs, she said, like, why is she waiting? <laughs> like... I've been waiting for you. Like, well, don't wait, just do it <laughs> first. Make a first step if you want. The reason I'm saying all this is because there are a lot of couples that are breaking up just because <clears throat> they see, again, in social media, let's say that all like other, in, look at other couples, how great everything is in, in, like in, in their relationship, even if they're just showing the best parts on Instagram, right? Uh, not showing the bad parts to other people to see and it's just like a show-off contest people comparing each other they only show the best parts not showing the bad part it's like all a stage show or something it's just all stage it's all fake kind of thing if people knew what's happening in that grass like the grass is greener on the other side right but if people actually knew fully the whole story was happening in that grass, like they would be shocked and like, oh my God, is this really like, oh, I, I actually have it better than they have. <laughs> like, it's, it, 
it, it's always we we have to start appreciating what we own what we have in our lives the kind of people we have the kind of relationships friends we have rather than diminishing and lowering uh in our heads oh like my life sucks oh it's not in reality like if you're already watching this video you probably have a phone or or like some type of device which is which not everyone have right uh you have in the, uh, con internet connection you probably have a roof like a home to live in that's already basic needs that's good you know what else do you need <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it's just like that track two we have honda featuring pa salus pa salu is actually really really cool i believe he's a british rapper he's a really he's a really cool rapper i like him I really like this instrumental. Like, it's really cool. Track 3, Meta Angel. Oh, that reminds me of Charlie XCX. Exactly like what she's talking about on Meta Angel is what I'm saying to you guys. Like, she says, that makes it sound so easy. A pretty picture with a quote. I get confused with what I really want. And that's what I'm trying to say. There's a lot of ideas and things that are influencing our minds. But in reality, all we want is just um, reliability, right? Accountability uh, from our um, loved one, right? care love right be loyal all right track four tears in the club featuring the weekend i heard this one um well fk twix <laughs> tears in the club why are you in the club in the first place <laughs> i told you you will be unhappy if you're living this life no just kidding all right let's go of the year, the weekend, Dawn of Heaven Steel Fire. Mm. Yeah, really good single. Uh, track five, Oh My Love, I still don't understand why she's calling it a mixtape when she literally has 17 songs. It's an album. Mm. That was cool. I like it. I, like, I really like this song. Track 6, Pample, Moose. For some reason, it reminds me of Brazil. The two six instrumentals. There was a 
song with Dua Lipa and FK Twigs. Damn, I did not know that. Yeah, now I want to check it out for sure. And it's not on this album, so she didn't drop it. That's weird. Why would she put that into the interlude then? If we are in this till the end, you and I, uh, if you're not going to leave me just because, let's say, oh, I don't, I don't feel the spark anymore like something is not there i i don't have feelings anymore for you like feelings are always temporary i think the love should be unconditional this is gonna be a weird example me and my sister for example uh we let's say we have an unconditional love right because but like no matter what happens no matter what kind of let's say we don't really fight anymore but like let's say in, in when we were kids we used to like fight or like you know argue but then like five minutes later <laughs> everything was fine right and i'm not saying that in relationships there should be fights but i'm saying is that happened but still we stick to each other siblingship is really good like uh, i can call her let's say whenever i need her help and say hey like can you help me with this like she would drive herself like uh, come by and like help me out or something like this and or i could i would do the same thing again important right like if you want somebody to come and help you 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 gotta do the same when they ask you to do that right and as long as partners have same goal they, they're going same direction and you guys are reliable it should be good <laughs> all right next track seven capper songs interlude featuring solo so far the album really slaps i like it a lot really cool um, production and I like what FK Twix is doing with her vocals as well. Track 8, Light Beamers. Is going Caribbean or like I I don't I forgot I, I wouldn't say it's reggae uh, I just forgot like she she turned to Sean Paul basically right now I just don't remember the genre specifically but yeah damn like it's crazy <laughs> okay I'm all for it I fucking love this, bro. I fucking love this. That was fantastic. That was fantastic. Track 10. I met the angel, FK Twix is saying uh, how I wish I had help from a deeper force, some kind of meta angel. She's saying, I don't think that I will make it on my own. I, I understand, like, we all feel the same way, like, when it comes to, wow, there's so much going on in real life. I wish things were simpler and there was, like, guidance, right? I, I think a lot of people need guidance for sure. And honestly, um, if religion is your thing, and uh, it is my thing, uh, religion, like, I'm a Muslim, I think it's a good start. There are good things that actually lead you to a more reserved, like not falling for every temptation you have in the world, right? It's more of a reserved life instead of like going to a party or every every Friday or like drink or like get nasty or whatever, right? But it's more rewarding life because when you say no to your, let's say, bad temptations, you constantly choose what you want from out of your life and uh constantly choose your best version of yourself let's say right and i also struggle with that that's something i'm working on that then um your relationships will be better right your your career might be better and you will have better habits as well like it's all important to set set it up properly like this and social media there definitely a lot of things are uh disturbing us from doing that 
if you're lost, uh, I think religion is a good guidance, honestly. And uh, for example, religion forbids hookups, or like friends with benefits, right? There, there is something to it. Society makes it like, re like benefits from like all the sex stuff, right? Like because sex sells, makes money, right? Uh, a lot of people are hooked on sex right now on, on porn and things like that uh, only fans right how popular is that but it, it definitely destroys a um, generation honestly instead of choosing that loyalty and that connection and, you know have ha having a healthy family people who are falling for this sexual temptations right including who are actually in marriage already like they might fall for this stuff like and then maybe cheat and things like this like it's it's all a bad circle we're living in and um, i think it's important to limit ourselves from even like watching like sexual music videos that i mean i i did that in the past right uh, on this channel too but um yeah certainly like that's not leading to a good life for us and um we couldn't we cannot really find the core why we are not that like, happy within our lives but um i think if you start living the life that i'm i'm talking about i think it, it's um you will be more uh, fulfilled and you'll have a goal right where where to go how to live what i want like this this is all you you need to definitely uh work with with yourself as well but um like sex and like that lust in the end uh like that only destroys uh your life that doesn't give you anything meaningful the temporary high the temporary oh my god yes like that's goes away and there's nothing lasting about it track 10 which way featuring dystopia <laughs> This slaps, this slaps. Again, we're getting the sense that FK Twix is lost in her life, like and she doesn't know what's right and what's wrong, I guess. Uh, and then she thought she left her good job and then she thought she's right, that she thought she will find something better, but she, I guess she didn't. I feel for her um, and I feel for her there, here specifically for sure, because um, I myself like, well, I have a decent job, I guess, right? It, it, it gives me money, but I'm not really happy with it. And I, I'm confident, should I go and pursue something else and chase something else? But at the same time, there's like, you are in your comfort zone right now. Like, you don't know what's gonna happen next. And it's like, you, will you make that decision or not? Go outside and feel the sun is shining on my bed aside. It's okay. Jealousy. Featuring Rama. Track 11. Before turning on this album, I did not expect to hear this sounds like this. That's impressive. That's really cool. And I'm glad she's tapping onto different genres. Careless featuring Daniel Caesar. You can be careless with me. I mean, it, it is a fault of uh, her partner, right? But in the first place, maybe she should have chosen another person, right? Like it's also depends on her taste. There are people who fall for problematic people, right? Uh, not good for relationships people. We all, again, again, look at yourself. You can solve your problems <laughs> by your own. Like if you, like you have to be better in order to get better right you will see when you feel when you feel con content with yourself when you know what you want you will seek like what you want and if you don't want to be traumatized or basically falling into a toxic relationship right then you will also try to learn how to find and the traits of people 
you will you will be able to like basically scan them beforehand even <laughs> like you you talk to them like one day it will be enough to understand okay this person is not for me this person is for me uh, this person i will have a lot of problems to do like it is not worth it <laughs> like go away anyway it's a different topic and we can talk about it later in other videos maybe the, the point is it also depends on you what you choose right if you're careless meaning like if you're careless in choosing whoever you want oh i just feel this type of way to this guy and then you just cho choose based on feelings that doesn't mean it's gonna last forever you you haven't really chose him because of his fun foundations fundamentals as a person uh, is he even interested to keep a long-term relationship is he even interested to have a like uh is he is, is he capable of long-term relationship and family and kids uh and be a responsible father let's say right and i'm talking in, about girls right now specifically because we're talking we're reviewing fka twigs female album girls are more followers guys are more like sort of leaders at least that's how it was uh before before like it's social constructs are being destructed right now um like concepts of man and woman but um relationships that do work actually that like the leader follower is actually um is um like it's pretty useful thing <laughs> i would say but guys should be good leaders but and we like lack lot guidance in that like guys are not they don't know how to basically manage a family they don't know how to manage a girl's feelings like yeah basically um that's my thoughts <clears throat> i myself still need to do a better job at things but um yeah I'm just saying all this so that you have something to think about and get something out of this video. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Daniel and FK to fix together, that's really awesome. Track 13, Minds of Men. It will be interesting to hear her thoughts. Great minds of men. Yeah, she said, give him your love and don't deny, be the shoulder where he cries. That's that's good. I mean, like, that's what I was talking about. Like, uh, give as well, right? When you, if you expect to receive. Let's make hey. There's no complaints when it comes to lyrics. I like, um, like, Minds of Men because I thought she's gonna go for, like, trashing men like oh they're like bad in this in that way but no like actually she's was more of a supportive like figure love and death are all like are compound and like she said like great men sort of will fall if like uh if there is no woman like uh, it's something similar similar to that basically she's saying like how we make each other better right like it's a it's a unison i can be there for you and like i can like do a lot of things for you she's uh showing her her support to the men i, I like i like that she approached uh, this way uh, about this track i liked it track girl interlude track 14. <laughs> Uh, only cool thing I got from this interlude, track girl interlude, is that uh, FK is where she admits that she's a crazy girlfriend. <laughs> track 15, Darjeeling, featuring Georgia Smith and Unknown T. Track superstar, Crystal Palace, brat, 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 Lymphic, Christy, Stay, DM, every Tuesday, flag and a boy, I'm in a body hot like click and belong, we like to make love that wants the dogs, I was on his side, 55 to make it, make love that wants the dogs, I was on his side, I like the... So was the last that I could find. Yeah. Ooh, Georgia. Ooh. Just wanted to say I like the production. <laughs> like pop smoke, um, uh, drill, UK drill. But damn, this is awesome! Like Georgia on on the drill beat. That's crazy. And FK tweaks as well. Track 16 
Christy interlude. In most okay, track 17, thank you song. Okay, that was the album Thank You song. Uh, please let me know who specifically she's saying thank you. But I uh, really enjoyed the album. It's a really cool album. Um, really appreciate the concept, the sounds, the production. Really enjoyed FK Twig's uh, work in here. Uh, and there you go, guys. I think this is 8 out of 10 for me. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about what I said about relationships specifically. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next ones.